What is going on YouTube? It's your boy Grizz, and today we're going to be attempting to rebuild the Arizona Cardinals. Now the Cardinals are a very tough team. As you can see, I'm already simming because I know we're going to be trash in the first season. Um, they need a lot of work. So we're going to do this that, pick it up in the offseason, see who we can resize, see who we can sign the free agents, and see if we can draft some stars. Alright guys, here at the end of the season, as expected, we go 3-14. and 14. Obviously, terrible. Um, Kyler Murray had a horrible season, horrible offense, and a horrible defense. The defense is actually a little better. More interceptions and touchdowns. Dude's definitely getting replaced. James Conner, terrible. Marquise Brown, 995. I mean, not horrible, but obviously with Kyler doing as bad as he did, you can kind of expect that. Um, defensively, Chris Barnes, 137. Kaiser White, 113. Okay. Five and a half sacks out of Zayvon Collins. We'll take that. And then we had a couple picks apiece for some of our guys. But aside from that, let's just get right into the offseason. Alright guys, so obviously heading into this offseason, we're not going to be looking to sign 33-year-old Demarcus Lawrence. Because we're not going to be looking to compete for a ring for a couple years. So kind of what I did here is I picked up some guys that are going to benefit the team right now for sure. But mainly in the future as they keep progressing and improving before age 30. More or less, we're doing a four-year rebuild, so I picked guys that are younger, 26 years old or younger. So we picked up Devin White to be our middle linebacker of the future. We picked up Ezra Cleveland to be our left guard of the future. Tyler Bedez to be our center of the future. And Cesar Ruiz to be our right guard of the future. So right there, we got three O-linemen. Don't have to worry about O-line anymore. Very cheap guys. And we picked up a middle linebacker. Don't have to worry about middle linebacker because Chris Barnes also went up to star dev trade. So let me see what else I can do. Maybe pick up a safety so we can get rid of Buddha. I don't know what else we're going to do, but let's see. We also went out and picked up our James Conner replacement and A.J. Dillon. Cam Dantzler to be one of our corners. I know we're really young at corner, but obviously this guy with star dev trade already has 75. Pretty proven talent as well. So this is kind of what we're going to be working with, and let's get right into the draft. Guys, right, so this might be considered quite a haul, but we picked up the fourth overall pick for Kyler Murray. Two of our thirds, we still have one, our fourth, and a seventh and a sixth from two years from now. Obviously, Kyler is a 79 overall, huge cap hit. We free up over, we have a 70 million cap now. Obviously, a guy that we were not planning on using for the long haul. So now we have the first overall pick, the second overall pick, and the fourth overall pick. Let's go get something done. All right, guys, with the first overall pick, we're going to go with the QB. Obviously, we just traded away our only guy. Nelson McGowan out of Tennessee, hidden dev trait. His top four talents were all A's, so went ahead and sniped him off the board. And now with our second overall pick, let's kind of see what we're going to do. The second overall pick, we take Cameron Davis out of Louisville, 98 speed, 95 excel. Definitely going to be a beast. And now there is a right end that I've been looking at that I really hope these guys don't take. They do. Ah, that, that, that sucks. He was probably the only guy that I was really looking at. So now we're faced with a tough decision. Let me go look. I think we're going to go ahead and solidify our cornerback position, pick up Marion Williams here with the fourth overall pick, and then hope to snipe some linemen in the second and third round. Here in the second round, I said I wanted to snipe some D linemen. We do just that, picking up Jermichael Ford in the second round. With hidden dev trait, very solid stats, 21 years old. Here in the third, we're going to take Spencer Meekins to fill another D defensive line position that we need. 23 years old, hidden dev trait, looks like some very solid stats as well on this guy. Oh my gosh. Here's the draft recap. Our quarterback is a 79 overall, but that's not even what I'm interested in. Our two corners that we drafted are 84 and 83. And then a 76 overall left end and a 73 overall defensive tackle. Wow. Holy. Okay. We will definitely take that 100%. All right. Let's head into the second season, see what our roster is looking like. All right, guys. Here, number, year number one, technically. Um, we went 8 9, which is obviously a huge improvement over what we were. Let's kind of look at how the team performed. So instantly I see that our offense is still terrible, but I mean, McGowan had a decent year, 3,800 yards, 26 touchdowns, definitely need to get that interception total down. Rushing wise, Dylan was just as efficient as James Conner. James Conner still stealing his touchdowns. Um, receiving wise, 1,412 out of Marquise Brown, 790 and one out of Rondell Moore, 707 and six out of Michael Wilson. 
Might let more walk in free and see and see if we can get somebody else. Defense, defensively, Devin White and Chris Barnes had an amazing year, as well as Cameron Davis. We love to see that. 15 sacks out of Zayvon Collins. Let's go. Six and a half out of Jermichael Ford. Six and a half out of Spencer Meekins. We love to see that 100%. Six picks out of Buddha. Definitely need to bring him back. I know um, whenever I was trying to resign him, he said he wasn't interested. He's going to be interested. Four picks out of the boy Cameron Davis. Three out of the boy Chris Barnes. Two out of Devin White. And two out of Marion Williams. We love to see that 100%. How did the team progress? Obviously, we're not going to be able to see any dev traits based on awards and performance wise. We can at least see what they ran it out being. Oh my god. Man, this is <laughs> this is insane. We already have an X Factor quarterback. McGowan was drafted as an X Factor. We absolutely love seeing that. Def oh my god, what? Two more and two superstars. This is unreal. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Okay. Now we might be competing. We might be rolling next year. <laughs> All right, let's get into the offseason, guys. And also here after the offseason, huge upgrade. Marquise Brown goes up to a superstar. We love seeing that 100%. And then on the defensive end, Meekins does fall down to a star. But Zayvon Collins goes up to a superstar. So we definitely, definitely love seeing that. So definitely some good stuff to work with going into the offseason. We're going to be looking to bring in a right end for sure. Probably a left outside linebacker. Not too sure. Ojolari does typically regress to at least an 80. And he kind of hold his own. Probably a strong safety because I have a feeling we're losing Buddha. I don't know. With us winning, he might want to come back. And then offensively, probably left tackle because DJ Humphreys is pretty old. And a tight end and then one wide receiver. Let's do it. Maybe a running back. We'll see if Nick Chubb's in here. All right, guys. So far here in free agency, we did get lucky in bringing back Buddha Baker. That's huge for us. And then we also picked up Elijah Moore because Rondell Moore didn't want to come back. So we went ahead and signed another Moore. And this is one that I was really going after. We went out and we signed Jeremiah Wusu koromoa to fill out our linebacker core. BJ Ojolari is going to move to left end, and that's how we're going to roll, guys. Love to see that 100%. Heck yeah. So obviously here in the draft, some positions we're going to be targeting is a middle linebacker, a second one to replace Chris Barnes. Not aggressively going after one, but would be nice. Um, a right end wouldn't be bad, but I think Ojolari can definitely hold down that position if he can't. We can move him up to Zayvon Collins' position because we saw how many sacks Collins had last season. Move Collins down to right end. Kind of something to experiment with. And then on the offensive end, maybe a generational talent wide receiver if there's one out there. We did pick up Jalen Warren. I think he's going to be a big upgrade over A.J. Dillon. And probably a left tackle and a center. So let's do it, guys. Trend, we're going to go ahead and take a center off the board. Brian Albert out of Florida State. Hidden dev trait. Love to see that. And let's kind of see what's available in the second and third round. I'm going to go ahead and pick Shaquille Woodward. Going to kind of see how he matches up compared to B.J. Ojolari and see who we're going to start at right in this season. Here in the third round, we're going to go ahead and draft some more O-line depth. Might be a guy that we move over to left tackle to replace our aging left tackle. Hidden dev trait. Looks like a beast. It's obviously not as good of a draft as last season, but still pretty solid. 74 overall center, 74 overall left end, 72 overall left guard. So these are all guys that are probably going to see the field. So let's get into it. All right, guys. Here at the end of season number two, we are 12-5, and five, and we do make the wild card. So definitely a huge improvement for the team. And let's see how we performed. So we had the 17th best offense, so nothing crazy there yet. And the 20th, so middle, mid-pack. Okay, 4,000 yards, 23 touchdowns, 9 picks out of Nelson McGowan. Love seeing that. 1,000 yards and 20 touchdowns out of Jalen Warren. Okay, okay. 1,300 yards out of Marquise Brown. And we just need to get him some help. Defensively, Devin White had 110 tackles. Ousu Koromo had 97. 10 sacks out of Jeremiah, Jeremichael Ford. 6.5 out of Zayden Collins. 4.5 out of Dante Stills. And 4 out of Spencer Meekins. 8 picks out of Kamir Davis. 3 out of Ousu. 2 out of Cam Dantzler. Wow, eight interceptions. Is that enough for Defensive Player of the Year? It is not, but he comes in at number two, so we'll take that for sure. All right, guys, we are taking on the Carolina Panthers in the wild card round. 
Obviously, the Panthers are a team that is rebuilding as well. So, hopefully, we've revolted a little better, right? Top threat, obviously, Brian Burns, but our line's solid, and we win 28 to 21. But as if that challenge wasn't enough, we have to take on the Dallas Cowboys, who might be a little jealous that we're using their offensive playbook. But hey, does it look like I care? No, we're in here to win it, so let's do it right here. Taking on the Cowboys, shut. Our, our X-Factor wide receivers are not going to shut down C.D. Lamb as they beat us. Okay, well that's terrible, but at least we made the playoffs in the second year. Obviously on the climb up. So let's get into the offseason and see what more signings we can make. Alright guys, defensively, huge dev trade upgrade as Zayvon Collins gets X-Factor. We definitely love to see that. Nobody else got improved. The guy that we drafted, Woodward, is only a star, but who cares about that? Our D-line's solid. Our linebackers are solid. Obviously, Buda Baker is going to start regressing, but as long as he stays above an 88, not to worry about it. Thompson's a beast. Our corners are set. Might pick up a third one, might not. Dantzler is performing, but we'll see. And offensively, our O line is set. I might. We definitely just need to get one wide receiver weapon and probably a running back. We'll see what's available. All right, guys. So I wanted to get a star wide receiver. I was looking through kind of filling out what was available. Jalen Warren, Michael Wilson, for Mike Evans to slide in as our wide receiver number two behind Marquise Brown. Love to see that. Obviously an aging wide receiver, but we just need him to be good for two years. So not too worried about that. All right, guys, and then we turn on a flip. Rondell Moore, A.J. Dillon, Porter, a third and a fifth for Monk from the Patriots, who is a superstar running back. So definitely fills the hole that we have at running back. And now let's look the draft, a wide receiver and roll into next season. All right, guys, and draft the wide receiver. We did just that. As we pick up Anthony Cartwright, hidden dev trait, 91 speed, 90 excel. Definitely a great slot guy. And then we go ahead and take our potential Cam Dantzler replacement and Rasheem Graves in the second round. Some pretty solid picks here. Um, we take Anthony Cartwright, who's a 75 overall, and Rasheem Graves, who's also a 75 overall. So we'll definitely take those guys, take a look at the dev traits, and see if they're going to start. Uh, CPU drafted us a quarterback for some reason. Obviously, he's not going to play. And another corner. who was a 72, so we'll give it to him. They at least drafted somebody that's decent. Hit the trait. But let's get right into season number three. Season as we end 6-11. and 11. Why is that? As we had a much better offense, 18th. And defensively, 22nd. Okay, so we are terrible. I mean, not a terrible... Year out of McGowan. Rushing wise, not good. Receiving wise, Marquise Brown and Mike Evans had a great year. McBride didn't have a terrible year. Touchdowns weren't there. And then defensively, Devin White had an amazing year. Seven and a half sacks out of Collins, six out of Ford, five out of Meekins, two out of Woodward. Picks fell off quite a bit, but wow. All right. Well, I guess what's heading to the final off season. So heading into free agency, we obviously need some receivers because it does look like Mike Evans retired. Maybe a tight end. And then defensively, Ford goes up to an X-Factor. One of the corners we drafted was an X-Factor. Superstar for Thompson. Collins stays an X-Factor. So maybe another middle linebacker. Might just move Ojolari over there. And then I guess some defensive line help. I thought these guys were going to progress very nicely. They did not. So let's sign a loner D tackle, loner right end, and let's roll. You see, there's typically a star wide receiver at some point. There wasn't, so we just got the Marcus Lawrence, and we're going to kind of see what we can trade for wide receiver wise. All right, guys, right away, going to pick up our wide receiver number one and Tyreek Hill, trading our first. Obviously, we don't need anybody. We're not going to be developing anyone. A sixth and a fifth, and we get Tyreek Hill. Big trade. And then we trade our running back in two seconds for T. Higgins to be our third wide receiver. So now we just need a running back and some D linemen, and we're set. Went ahead and picked up Tajay Spears to be our running back. Obviously, we don't even want crazy for running back position because we're stacked a wide receiver. We'll kind of let it slide. First and a third and B.J. Jolari for Chris Jones. And now let's just get a bit of linebacker. In our fourth and final season, we go 14-3. and three. And somehow 14-3 and three is not good enough for a bye week, but it's still pretty good in my opinion. Obviously. 
as we'll be taking on the New Orleans Saints in the wild card round. How did we match up stat wise? Did our quarterback finally take that leap that he needed? Ninth best offense and fifth best defense. So hey, we've improved quite a bit. 4,300 yards, 40 touchdowns, seven interceptions for McGowan. Love to see that. 1,100 yards and eight touchdowns out of Tyje. Ty Pretty good. Receiving wise, 1,615 out of Tyreek Hill. 8, 12, and 11 out of Marquise Brown. T had 780 and 2. 760 and 9 out of Trey McBride. Defensively, two guys with over 100 tackles. 14 sacks out of Marcus Lawrence. That's why you bring him around. 9.5 out of Collins. 8 out of Chris Jones. 8 out of Meekins. And 7.5 out of Ford. With 5 out of Okariki. Four interceptions for Davis, two for Williams, two for Thompson. Okay, okay. Love to see that. How do we do how do we do yearly award wise? McGowan comes in at number five. Tyreek Hill comes in at number four. Defensive player of the year, number three is Demarcus Lawrence. Offensive rookie of the year, obviously nobody. And nobody for defensive rookie of the year. Alright guys, here in round one, like I said, we are taking on the New Orleans Saints. Obviously, have the overall advantage, so let's win. We, <laughs> oh my God, we shut them out 49 nothing. That is insane. As we're taking on the nine and eight Bears in the divisional round, we're gonna have another repeat. No, but we still beat them 16 to 10. And now we got to take on the good old Dallas Cowboys, who are 15 and two. Okay. That's not, that's not good, but hey, we can take it. Now, it's our time. Let's make it. Let me make sure the freaking CPU didn't mess with any of my guys that I have in. Uh, no. They didn't. That's good. Yep, yeah, we're good. Okay, cool. Alright, guys. Let's go take on the Dallas Cowboys. Obviously, I still got CeeDee Lamb who put up 1,800 yards. That's insane. All right, can our X-Factor corners cover him? Well, we cannot as we lose 17-14. A 90 overall team can't do it, guys, but I tried my best. Hope you guys did enjoy the video. If you did, hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button. Comment what team you want to see next. And if you made it this far, comment hot dog in the comments. Just let me know you all are loyal. Have a good one, guys.